Hello everyone, my name is Breeze and welcome back to another episode on this Simplex SMP server. Today I have got a couple things planned, but I might not be able to do them both in today's episode. Uh, first thing I want to quickly tell you about, uh, I have started using the Faithful Texture Pack again. Uh, after watching a few YouTubers, I decided that the Faithful Texture Pack was for me, <laughs> so I decided to start using it again. Uh, this isn't the custom version that I used to use. Uh, with like the blue XP bar and all that. Uh, the only thing I've changed is the glass. Uh, instead of having the uh, smeared pattern all over it, it's just plain. Um, but yeah, today I you probably already know from the title is, title of this video. I managed to find a zombie spawner. So we are going to be making a zombie farm, XP farm. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> Now, I have already done some digging and cleared out some space, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to head into the nether quickly, because I have already, I have made a nether tunnel. It's actually over in that direction. If you check, see the uh, uh, spruce trees over there, it's over there, it's in that forest over there, but I kind of thought I'd be a bit cheeky and lazy at the same time and make a nether portal leading straight to it. Let me just quickly head in there. So yeah, this, oh yeah, I also managed to finish off the nether tunnel. As you can see, we have the lava and glass going down here, uh, which I really do like. I had the help of Arithia to do this main part, and I did this part myself. Uh, this is, that is actually the portal for the spawner, but I thought I'm going to quickly show you this area off. I'm going to show you this area first. Um, but yeah, we've got the nether brick, the quartz, the slabs, uh, these are all slabs as well, and the, uh, lava obviously because the lava looks pretty awesome and it actually stops the zombie pigman from spawning down here which makes it really awesome okay everyone welcome to my mob spawner um now i was doing a bit of caving around this area and i was in there's actually a cave behind here as you can see but i have managed to block it all off um but yeah we have about basically found this spawner it had a few little things in it nothing of two value uh, not, nothing too valuable. It had a iron. I think it had an iron horse armor set and something else, but I can't remember what it is right now. But yeah, as you can see, I have taken the liberty of actually like clearing out some space already. Uh, down there is the drop area. So as you can see, there's a three by one hole there. Uh, that's where the zombies will fall, and then down the bottom, we'll be able to just punch their feet, and they should die. Uh, this drop should leave them on about half a heart. That uh, is about 22 or 23 blocks, uh, which is perfect for the spawner. Now, I am actually going to be following a Arisia's design. Uh, hopefully, she doesn't mind. But what she's got is a couple signs along here just to stop the water flow. And I need to actually figure out where these water sources go. Um... So this is the center for, for this. yeah, we're in a nine by nine room at the moment. I need to actually, I want to quickly try something. If I take out these blocks here, oh, I have got ice. I don't actually have any water buckets on me, which is a bad idea. Uh, I believe you just break them like that. How do you get the ice out of this? Do you have to make them melt? I cannot remember how you do this. Um... Do you know what, guys? I'm going to be back in a second. I might actually go grab some buckets because I can't remember how to get ice to melt. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, everyone, welcome back. Now, as you can see, I've managed to place down all the water sources that are needed. Uh, I just basically need them to be able to fall into this 3 by one hole. Um, if we quickly head down here, I do have a water source at the bottom of this, so we could just fall into it if I can get the middle and not hit the sides. There we go. As you can see, we have this 3 by one like collection area where all the mobs are going to be landing now hopefully this doesn't kill them I have fallen down it once or twice uh, and only once have I died so the other time I got left on half a heart so hopefully that will do the same for the mobs uh, now what I need to do just to make sure this thing is working I need to take out all the torches in the main room and I'm gonna quickly head back up here now this little staircase is a bit it's a bit long, but oh well. I could have made it a bit shorter and then like use a sword to kill him, but oh well, it's there now. So yeah, I want to. Oh yeah, um, I started with sixteen p bits of ice. <laughs> That's how many mistakes I made, and we're only using six of them. So yeah. Um, uh, what do I need? I want to grab some slabs. 
quickly to darken off this this little area here. Uh, but first, I need to take out these torches. Let me just quickly actually. I think it's like this. Yeah, that's how you do it. Perfect. I think if we do this, we should be able to darken. Oh no, don't do that. We should be able to darken this area off without having to. Oh, don't you dare! First thing I need to do is actually remove this. But I want to. Actually, I don't know what to do first. First, I want to get out of this water. There we go. Nope, I'm still in the water somehow. Apparently a half slab doesn't work against water. There we go. So yeah, I'm going to quickly remove these wall torches. There's only two of them, thankfully. I can't even reach that guy. No, nope, don't get in the water. There we go. Now, also, I want to remove these. And now I'm going to do the challenging part and remove this block first. And then I want to remove these torches. So hopefully nothing spawns just yet. I'm going to cry if some... Oh, something is born. Run! I just want to get up here. There we go. Oh, he's gone already. <laughs> um, but yeah, I want to quickly block that off so nothing can get through. Head down here. He should be standing at the bottom? No? Maybe he died. But there's no mob drops or anything. Let's quickly go head back up. Now hopefully, if this doesn't take too long, I can actually start on my second project uh, for the day and then maybe finish it today. But it'll probably not. I want to actually decorate this room as well. So that'll be what happens in today. Did I leave a light? It's still lit, lit up in there. Oh, yes, I did. I left a torch over here. Let's quickly remove you. Yeah, quick, run. Spree. Nope. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was not ready for that. Okay, there we go. But, yeah, as you can see, the water comes to about here and then stops. Let's quickly block this off do that. Now hopefully this isn't letting any light through. It shouldn't do because they're all in the top block. Um, but yeah, let's quickly go head down. We've just had a couple of them spawn. If we head down, uh, one of them has died. There's another. There's one in armor there. Let's just punch. It's still taking like, one or two hits, but some of them are dying. So what am I actually going to do? If I slab this off, I will have to raise this bit a little bit more. Let's just quickly do that, like so. Um, I will have to head back up just to get some more mobs to spawn. Uh, but yeah, I do plan to de decorate these walls. What I might actually do with these walls um, is try and get some stained clay for them, but I will probably need a lot of it. I uh, haven't quite decided just yet. I will figure that out off camera. But yeah, I want to quickly get a couple of these guys to spawn. I think with um, Arissa's one, it's a little bit better because you can actually see see through it. So I'm going to try and imitate her design. Uh, that one and that one, I think it is. I think that's right, actually. Does that is that a full block? Yeah, uh, no, that's half. Okay, yeah, they're still spawning, so there's not enough light getting through. Share that. There's a couple of them just been pushed down, so let's quickly head down here like so. Some rotten flesh still, so why are they still dying? Let's punch this guy. It's gonna takes two hits to kill him. Hmm. I don't know. If we go up one more. I don't really want to go up anymore. This is a pain. Okay. Let's just try. <laughs> this platform's gonna get higher and higher. There we go. So yeah, I'm going to actually head back up, and then I'll, I'm going to get this thing working properly, and I'll see you guys once it's done. Okay, it looks like I've actually managed to get it just right. Uh, it still takes two hits to kill him, which is unfortunate, and I have tried to lower this by half a block, and it doesn't work. I'm going to quickly show you that now. So if we lower this, and then rate, uh, lower this one as well, just so we can't get any mobs, uh, baby zombies pushing through. If we quickly head up a little bit. I know I should have done this, uh, I should really make this bit a bit quicker, but you guys won't really see this, this that often, it'll be just me going up and down this. Um, but yeah, if we quickly get a couple guys to spawn, it might take a few seconds. I can hear some zombies around me. Oh yeah, I still need to actually light off the surrounding areas. Oh my, that's a lot, that's four of them. No, go down the hole. Good boy. 
But yeah, if we quickly head down, uh, a couple bits of boron flesh here. Yeah. Um, this one will kill him, so we will have to uh, keep it exactly how it was. But yeah, this guy's still taking two hits. So it's going to be okay. Two hits isn't going to be too bad. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to leave it like this. Um, but yeah, that's the mob spawner pretty much done. I will be decorating this. I do have some stone bricks and a bunch of slabs that I could use. Uh, what I want to try, actually. Oh, yeah, see, as you can see, there's a bunch of caves around here that I have lit up some of them. Uh, this one I've actually only just lit up. Um, I will be going around off camera and lighting all of the areas around here up. Just so we can get maximum spawn rates, um, which is something we really want to get. Well, this is lagging a little bit. There we go. And let's actually put another slab there, like so. Mm. Yeah, that'll do. Perfect. Um, but yeah, I do plan to actually let's do a couple design ideas before we do anything else. What the hell is that? Oh, there's a cave right behind it. Hmm. Strange. Let's just quickly. Oh, I need to get out there. Should quickly block this off so nothing can spawn in here. I want to get back through. There we go. Now, what I will end up doing, uh, probably straight after this episode, while it's rendering or something, I will go through and like light all these areas up. There is a quite a big syst cave system behind here. Let's just quickly try something. Go away. Let's just do this. I'm going to try and come up with a design for this that I like. Uh, so far I'm liking this. I'll just place the torches on here. Put torch back. Um, I kind of like that actually. If I change this for stone bricks. Um, along here. What I'm going to do. Oh, how the hell do I manage that? Place that one back in there for now. I'm going to have a strip going through here. Nope, I don't want to break that one. What the hell? Whoa, okay. That's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> okay, we want to break that, that, uh, oh, not that one. That one. Uh, now, the reason these are here, this is where I'm going to have that ch a couple chests. I'm probably going to have a few scattered around here just, just because. But yeah, let's quickly... Yeah, I hear a bunch of zombies around here. If we quickly check through here. This, okay, there's nothing in here. This is where I can hear them from, but there's nothing here. So I'm just going to quickly block this off. Um, but yeah, like I said, I will head, ar head around the areas and kill off all the zombies that I've... All, all the mobs that I find light up all the areas. That bug is annoying. That is also annoying. Okay, let's just see how this looks. That actually doesn't look too bad. I might actually put some rest some lamps in here. Uh, do the same on this side. Also, don't forget, you can also leave suggestions on what you think would look nice in here. Uh, what you can do is link me to like an imager page of a screenshot that you've taken or on the Minecraft forums, a design that you like. And there's another police car in the background. Oops, sorry about the sniff. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is pretty much pretty nice, actually. I know we haven't really done a lot in this episode, but this is going to be kind of uh, just like a mini, well, not really a mini episode, but a random episode that I felt like uploading. So yeah, let's quickly head upstairs. I want to grab some stone brick. Also, I'm going to make a few more slabs. Let's just quickly do that. There we go. Stacking a bit. Uh, two stacks almost. There we go. Uh, let's quickly place these down. I'm, I'm in and owing a lot today. Don't know what's wrong with me. Um, what should we do with this bit? Hmm, I know. You don't. You won't. You. Ugh, I can't speak either. You won't really see this bit that often. Uh, until I put when I put some chests down. But I'm gonna just put a basic design here. Not there. There. There we go. Um, yeah, but yeah, I think I'm going to put some like lamps in all these spots. 
Yeah, that would actually look kind of nice. Or I could take this one out and put a lamp there. No, just, just place the blocks there, like so. Hmm, could do that. And I could actually put a lamp there as well. Because this doesn't affect the mob spawning rate. Well, I don't think it does anyway. Um... Okay, let's quickly just... I'm going to quickly replace all this with stone brick and just see how it looks. Okay, everyone, there we go. That is the room pretty much done. I just need to do the ceiling. I really do like that design. It's, I know it's not exactly that great, but it's a pretty nice design. And I'm thinking what I could also do is continue it on the ceiling. So, like, place these blocks here. Oh, that's going to be a bit awkward to do. Oh, that's gravel. Get that gravel off my hot, off my hot bar. Um, yeah, I could do that. I could copy this design on the ceiling, so like continue it along. I don't know how I'm going to implement that actually. Um, uh, this can actually be turned into one of those. And if I do this, actually no, give that back. Give me that back. Oh no, <clears throat> I did it wrong. If I do this. There we go. Kind of looks like the pattern copies all the way up and down. Um, let's do it on this side as well. Hmm, there we go. But yeah, that is the spawn room. I will probably do the same design on this floor and upstairs. But yeah, guys, I think that'll do for today. I, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go back to my base, grab a bunch of a, uh, uh, torches, and light up the surrounding areas for this place. Uh, also, in the next episode, I do plan to do a, um, like a, what's it, a mob, sport, a mob dropper. Um, for those who don't know, there will be a link in the description to a video that Efo did on it. Uh, it's basically a dark room where every type of mob can spawn, uh, apart from spiders and endermen. I can tweak it to make endermen spawn, um, in, he does say in the tutorial that he can do that. But I will plan to do that in the next episode. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think that'll be it for today. I think I do have one other thing to show you before this episode ends. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead, quickly head and do that. But yeah guys, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, everyone, welcome back. In the last episode, um, we had to disable a doomsday device, and we had to try and find a second key. Um, now, I wasn't able to find it in my episode, but I did ask Unite, and he did send me a um, the coordinates for the location, and this is where it is. Not that far from Spawn. Spawn is literally just over there, and there's a portal there. Some other stuff as well. But yeah, if we head in here, <laughs> there's a sign that says totally not, totally hidden place not for a key. Um, but yeah, this is the key for our, um, the second key for the Doomsday device. And um, Unite did say that we could die. So I have, I have put everything in my ender chest, uh, apart from some potatoes. And I've got some iron tools just in case I had to fight my way here or make some little tweaks and he did he said there was a possibility that I could die so I'm guessing that this furnace is hooked up to like a comparator or something so let's quickly grab it and yeah I knew it oh gold oh my god that is deadly <laughs> wow you know it. wow you are a trickery but yeah I think this thing is just going to continue to shoot so what I'm going to do I'm actually going to go behind it. Oh, there's some cobblestone here, so that must be part of the redstone. Oh, maybe not. But yeah, this is... Wow, the lava. Get rid of the lava quickly so there's no more fire arrows. But Oh, I see. I see. There we go. I'm not being set on, la on fire again. Go away. Wow, I see what you mean by there was a possibility I could die. Oh, let's not get rid of that block just yet. Okay, let me just wait for that lava to deplete. Depleting, gone, good. Uh, let me just check behind here. Holy smokes, that's a lot of arrows. Whoa, are they being fed into the system? And watch this lot fall. And I picked most of them up, perfect. Okay, let me just 
have a look around here. He's got a nice little, simple little redstone clock going around here. <laughs> and a piss. I hate it when people do this to me. But yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to steal all this. Because I can. You want you to play a prank on me, I'm going to steal your resources. But yeah, that is the do uh, the second key for the Doomsday device. Um, let me just grab everything in here. I will actually put that torch back. You can keep the torch. There we go. Kind of, kind of nice little redstone contraption he's got going on over here. Just want to grab everything else. I'm going to grab the furnace as well and the comparator, obviously. But yeah, guys, that was the second location for the second key. Unfortunately, we didn't find it in the episode, but that is okay. I think we put like four stacks of arrows in there, four, maybe maybe less actually, three and a half. But we probably did lose a bunch while the thing was going off. But yeah, we managed to get a few decent materials from it. Guna, if you do want these these things back, um, they will be at my base. Uh, so just come over there and pick them up. Um. But yeah, I think I'll do for today, guys. Uh, actually, what I want to quickly go do, I want to quickly check out the spawn. Uh, we haven't checked it out since we built the community building, so let's quickly have a look. See if anyone's actually built on top of our on top of our structure. So let's have a look. What the hell's that over there? Like a prison <laughs> type deal. There are quite a few things going on in the spawn, which is really nice. It's really nice to see other people on the server doing some stuff in the spawn town. Uh, like a, over there there's like a little cow farm nothing really and a portal I didn't see any houses so I suppose not many people are building around the spawn at their homes but yeah it looks like our structure is still the only one that's on top looks like someone here is building either a steve skin or a zombie which is pretty cool oh, what's this team eurasian slayer I probably said that wrong Let's just see what's in this book and quill, if there's anything, if anything. On the faithful day of July 21st, 2014, a, fearf a fearless zombie slayed both <laughs> Asian cookies and Unite um, thrice, wow, using this sword. He conquered both Asian and Unite in order to honour this zombie. This monument has been built in his honour. That is actually really nice. It's not quite finished yet, but I'm sure it will look amazing once it's done. Um, but yeah, let's quickly have a look. Let's have a look in a pick a pick shop quickly. Uh, this episode actually reached its limit at the moment, but that's okay. Uh, so we've got some efficiency picks in here. Oh yeah, I did actually do a diamond pick and charm, and I got an unbreaking on it. So I do want to buy one of these pickaxes. How much are they? Four diamonds. Uh, one, two, three, four. Not a great deal, but I don't care. So yeah, I'm gonna buy this efficiency three. Gonna put the diamonds in there and drop you off in here so yeah there is our new pick i will combine that with the pick i got at home do we have any fortune anything in here silk touch nope <laughs> if they did get any silk touch picks in stock that i'm sure they'll sell, they'll sell like hotcakes <laughs> but yeah let me just quickly get all my stuff back uh i have a bow on me but i have no oh i have plenty of arrows on me now uh so yeah let's quickly put our armor back on yep we're all good to go Okay, but yeah guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode of uh, building the mob spawner and checking out the where the second key was. Uh, thankfully we didn't die, I know we wouldn't really have lost much. The only thing I'd have been annoyed about losing was the potatoes, uh, but that is okay. Um, but yeah, uh, that'll be it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this episode, please be sure to smack that like button as it is really appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time where we'll be building a new mob spawner. I'll see you guys next time.